Picture this, a bomb that doesn't just explode on impact but plunges deep underground, creating shockwaves akin to an earthquake. Enter Barnes Wallace, the brilliant British aeronautical engineer who dreamed up this seismic marvel. Imagine dropping it from high altitude, hurtling toward its target like a meteor. The ground seems unfazed initially, but then the crater collapses, the earth shifts, and the target crumbles. The seismic waves do the real damage. How they worked. Unlike traditional bombs that go boom at the surface, seismic bombs were all about depth. They'd penetrate the ground, creating massive caverns known as camouflets. These weren't true seismic weapons causing Richter-scale tremors, but they were effective cratering tools. When dropped on ground targets, they disrupted foundations, rendering even heavily armored bunkers vulnerable. In the anti-shipping role, the shockwave alone wreaked havoc on battleships' critical equipment. The British had their tall boy and Grand Slam bombs, but the Americans weren't far behind. They developed the T-12 Cloudmaker, also known as the Earthquake Bomb during World War II. The T-12 targeted bunkers, viaducts, and other hardened structures. It was like dropping Thor's hammer, except it didn't summon lightning, it summoned seismic chaos. Today, Remnants of these seismic weapons lie hidden beneath our feet. Next time you're sipping coffee near an old viaduct, remember the history beneath you. Thanks for tuning in to Untold History. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and keep those foundations shaking.